special member request, we have Microwave, Vomit, Guitar Tabs, and Guitar Lesson. And a special tuning note with this, uh, I'm just going to have this in a uh, drop D tuning. So we got D, A, D, G, B, E. All right, just trying to keep it simple here for you. But if you're trying to match the recorded versions, uh, just know that they're in a drop D flat. All right, so you, you would do our drop D like we have here, and then just take every string a half step lower. All right, so if you want to match the recording exactly, that's what's happening. Tabs will still work. Just make sure you're not tuning. Uh, for our purposes here, just keep it simple, easy, just to jump in and accessible for everybody. I'm just doing a standard drop D tuning here. Okay, so that's what's up with that. And, um, you know, a couple guitars over the top of each other for a lot of this. Uh, this initial section, just clean, right? And the first guitar is just kind of doing two chords. Uh, we could do this voicing of just an A, sounds nice, and uh, I like to do this voicing here because it, it really helps with the, the next one. Um, so we'll do the A with the open A string, and then we have the 11D, 9G, uh, 10B, and you can even throw the open high E if you want, sounds fine. All right, but at least get to that B string. All right, and I like this voicing because the next chord, which is A major 7, and uh, just makes it simple. All we have to do is just lift that 10B off to a 9. Okay, so all we're doing is this motion there. All right, and you kind of want that that higher voicing of the chord, so that's why we're doing it here instead of just hanging out here. Um, so that's what's happening there, just the A to A major 7. Right, and the second guitar, which is kind of doing all the, the fun picking here, um, picking through you know, just voicings of this A. So we're doing open A, and we're gonna do the 7D, 7G, and then we'll hit this open B, which is fun there. Uh, kind of throws a little interesting tone in there. And then to a five on the high E. Right, pick back through the 6G, 7D, uh, 6G again. Okay, and then we just take that pointer on the five of the high E there, just make it a five on that low D now. We'll hit it, and then we'll pick through that 7D, 6G, 7D. Okay, hit that open B again. Pick through the G, D, G string again. Okay, move the bass note again, and we just drop it from the five to a four. And you want to try to keep that uh, 7D, 7G there. Um, I just kind of like to do that motion. Uh, if you really need to, you can kind of switch, you know, if it's too big of a stretch, just, you know, make the pinky in the ring there. Uh, I just kind of like to keep it here for me, a little simpler, uh, less motion going on. Okay, so then we just move it down to the four. Low D, you've got the 76G. Hit the high open E. All right, now we do this fun little slide up where we hit the 5B, slide it up to seven, back down to five. Okay, come back down to the 6G, 7D. And once we hit that 7D, slide it down to 4. All right, then we'll have this 2 on the G, 2B, just behind it here. Then come on over, hit the 5B. And if that's too much to stretch, if you can just kind of get a little tilt, you might be able to hit the Hope and I high E instead. But I'm fine just doing the 2B to 5B there. All right, and then we just do these little uh, bass note walk-ups, the 2B to 4, or sorry, 2A to 4A. Okay, so let's just try it all slowly here. for the chorus section here the first time we go through it you know we just got the clean tone going and we're just doing more like uh quarter note strums just right on the you know bang bang so um the voicings i like to use i think they they get more of a stretch going here at certain parts but i kind of i'm going to switch that up for you so you don't have to do so much of a stretch but uh we do this uh, voicing of the f sharp 
minor, so we just do fours on the D, A, and then a seven on that middle D. And if that's even too much of a stretch for you, you can just do the F sharp minor, like, you know, by hitting the fours and then hit the two on the G. All right, I'm fine just doing like this, the fours with the seven. So we hit that, move down to this uh, E now, and I think they do like this, but uh, that's a heck of a stretch, uh, you know. You can do that if you like, just the twos with the six on the D there, but uh, it's a little easier just to do the twos on the D and the A and then a one on the G. Okay, and we just gotta kind of mute that middle D, unless you wanna just hit the whole thing. That on a two as well. But you don't have to worry about the middle D. Take that shape there, just bump it up to sevens and a six. Okay, for the uh, a, a chord there. All right, we're gonna keep moving up now. We want a C sharp minor, so we're just gonna do elevens on the D and the A, and then we want a 14 on the middle D. All right, and we just keep it going. We want a D, so we just come up to 12s on the D, A. And with this, we want this 16 on the middle D. All right, and you just strum it, and then after you kind of hold that strum for a bit, you can come down and hit a 14 on the G. All right, and then essentially we would go through the first three chords again. But now we go down, all right? We go right back down to our uh, E at the twos and the one. And then we just come off to a really big, uh, open D major seven, so the open D, A, D, and then just two on the G and the B. Okay, and uh, with this, we we get to it again, the second chorus, and basically, all we do is we just, we get the overdrive, the gain on there, and then we just, instead of doing si like the single quarter note strums, we just keep it moving with like eighth note strums. At the end of the first chorus, we kind of just get some palm muted open low D, power chord chugs, we just go a one, ba 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 one. And for this bridge section, we'll get two variations of it, <laughs> where the initial one is clean, and it's not quite as big of a chord. Okay, we come to the open low D with a nine on the A, and then we'll just come down, you wanna mute the middle D, hit the nine on the G with that open low D and the nine A. Okay, we're like this D add nine going on here. All right, come back and just hit the D and the A for three. Then the chord again. Back to just three of the D and the A. Back to the chord. Hit the open with the nine. And then you can just come off, hit a quick open A. And then uh, we do a couple nines on the low D to a couple elevens. And then we just cycle that. Okay, and the second time we see this bridge, uh, it's it's heavy and the chord is bigger, and this also becomes the outro, but it's just slower at the outro. Okay, so it's the same deal that we did with the clean one, but now once we hit that chord, uh, we also include a ten on the B. All right, just to make it an even bigger chord. All right, and of course you know get some overdrive on there. And when we do our, you know, come off to a quick open and then the nines to 11s, you can just make it a power chord now, or like come off to the big open uh, A and open D, then nine on the D and A, 11 on the D. And at the end of the second chorus, we get another kind of dynamic, just open chug thing going on. Uh, initially, it starts by just doing one, two, three, bang, one, two, three, bang. Okay, and you can even throw in that two on the G with it. All right, and then it just becomes just a dynamic, just quarter note strums. All 